This video is sponsored by Boop. More about Boop later in the video. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. People like Angela Duckworth, right? Um, she talks about how grit is really, really important and it's the biggest factor between people who succeed and people who don't succeed. And there's also people like Gary Vee, like motivational speaker types that are like, oh, it's really important. Like you gotta, gotta do all these things if you wanna be successful. Like you have to not just sit there and do nothing. Grit, motivation, like working really hard towards your goal. I get it, okay? Like you don't have to convince me. I understand that it's very important. And every New Year's, I really do want to change and, you know, be super motivated. But I also have weak ass willpower. So even though I'm like super motivated for like three days or something, by the fourth day, like January 4th or something like that, I would be ending up in bed watching anime and just kind of like feeling like a complete failure in life. That's a good! What's even worse is like I usually end up binge watching Naruto for like the 20th time and you know how Naruto is like a super motivated person he's always like I'm gonna become Hokage so that like kind of just makes me feel worse about myself. In fact until last year I actually stopped making New Year's resolutions and just stopped like having these goals anymore because I would just get so disappointed in myself every time I failed. So why am I making this video and what has changed? First off, I have now accepted that unfortunately, this is just who I am. I just have very weak ass willpower, um, yet I have very lofty goals. So this is just the baseline that I have to work with. Okay, so after I accepted this, then things started to change, right? Like I kind of know that this is the kind of person that I am. So what I did is I started designing a bunch of systems and checkpoints into my daily life to really, really make sure that I actually get things done that I want to get done. Like live streaming my study with me, which forces me to get out of bed. Also the scoreboard system where it's literally like super clear if I don't do something. So I feel very compelled to do it. And the final step towards my system is this pack of cards over here, which has my goals and why I'm doing this. So every time I'm just like laying there, I take a look at these cards and I'm like, right. Yes. And you know what? I have to report that it totally worked. I'm honestly kind of shook myself that it worked because I thought that was a hopeless case. And it's a pretty funny story. It actually all started January of last year when Kenji um, said that he was going to do 66 of data again, which is basically like you learn something about data science related stuff every single day for 66 days. So he asked me if I want to join. So obviously I was like, yeah, let's do this. You know, I'm a data scientist. I can always learn more things about data science. But after 10 days, I failed. I totally just stopped doing it. Ken's like my friend, you know, I was super embarrassed because he's like, oh, how, how's it going? I'm like, good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, I, so that's why I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna live stream myself studying because then I can actually maintain this habit and actually learn things, right? And that was the beginning of everything. So I learned data science. Um, I also learned how to trade. I learned how to build a business last year and saved up to 100K. Obviously 100K, not like all of last year, but it helped me actually reach that goal. This year around, I am back with even more ambitious goals. I want to start seriously working on my goal of financial freedom, location freedom, time freedom, Freedom and eventually intellectual freedom, really establishing a morning and night routine that I stick to, and focusing on growing on YouTube as well as strengthening the community, plus some other non-tracking goals. Uh, which I think are still important. And honestly, I actually feel pretty confident. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna achieve all the goals in, in what I thought it would be, but I actually feel pretty confident in my ability of doing so, at least like achieving most of these goals. The reason why I feel confident is, as I gave a sneak peek earlier, the system that I've developed. So that's the study with me live streams, the scoreboard system, and uh, I guess you call it just pack of cards. <laughs> I probably should come up with a better name. The live streaming study with me is, which are happening four times a week now for two hours from 8.30 until 10.30, 30 Pacific time. So this is my keystone habit and it's the most important component. This is the habit that teaches me discipline. It's also the habit where I need to show up and even if I can't concentrate, my only goal for this habit is to show up. And over time, you know, like if I show up, there's going to be some days at least where I can concentrate and keep learning and keep studying new things, which I can then take that and apply it into my own life. And the reason why I was able to sustain this habit is because of the built-in accountability towards it. I actually have a like pre-saved message, like a community post on YouTube um, that talks about why it is that I can't show up today, especially when I'm really tired from the day prior and I didn't have enough sleep. I would just like think about sending it and I'm like, oh man. And then I think about how I could potentially be disappointing over a hundred people who also do the study with me live streams. And I'm like, okay. So then I get out of bed and I show up and do the live streams. By the way, plug for study with Tina. If you want to join, feel free to do so. Links in the description. So let's talk a little bit about today's sponsor. 
This is Boop. Her favorite things are yellow, being carried like a fat sausage, and sitting on my keyboard. You can sit over there. Not on keyboard. Comment below if I should build a keyboard just for Boop. Okay, let's go back to the video. No, don't eat the leaves. Bad, bad girl. Okay, so the second component of my system to make sure I actually achieve my goals and my New Year's resolutions is the scoreboard. So for the scoreboard system, I actually did a full video about this, about leading metrics, about lagging metrics, about the science behind why it works. So do check out that video if you're interested. The way that it works is basically, you know, we have these study with me sessions, right? And I show up to study, but it's not very helpful if I just like study random things. Like Naruto started with the Kage Bunshin no Jutsu, and then he moved on to the Rasengan, and then to the Sage mode, right? Like he wasn't just like, let me try to do everything at the same time. Like you gotta like do things sequentially. A good quote that I think is kind of fitting here is don't mistake motion with progress. The system also has very built-in accountability as well because I review them at the end of each study with me session. So everybody holds me accountable and I hold everybody else accountable because it's clear as day if I didn't do the thing that I said I was going to do and my progress isn't increasing. So the final component of this three component system that makes sure that I do my New Year's resolution, actually achieve my goals and not go and sit there and become a potato and binge watch anime is the pack of cards. This one I started pretty recently. So in this book, Content Inc., they did a study and they found that the best content marketers do two things differently from the rest. They document their content marketing strategy in some way, either written electronic, and they review and refer to the plan on a regular basis. And I think you can honestly replace content marketer with anything, like person trying to achieve their goals. The people who actually achieve their goals do those two things. So this is what gave me the inspiration of making this pack of cards. So first of all, what it says is memento mori. This is something that I like to remind myself a lot, which means remember that you will die. And by thinking about my own mortality, it makes me think about how I want to live my life. Because I also have, I don't know, this is called like emoji thing. Because I don't know, whenever I see this, it makes me feel like a surge of, I don't want to say anxiety, but kind of like, oh shit, you know, I got, I gotta, I gotta get my shit together. Kind, kind of feeling the little person flipping the table. I don't know. For some reason, memento mori makes me think of that. This emoji thingy also makes me think of that. So I put that as the cover. And for each of these, it has written the category in which it falls. For this one, for example, it's under learning. And this is the four times a week live streams. To, and I remind myself I'm doing this to always learn and incorporate into my own life and keep progressing. The next one is health. And I remind myself why this is important by the quote here, which is you do not rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems, which is by James Clear. I write down what my morning routine is and what my evening routine is, which is the systems that I built in. Next one is business. And I write here the goal, why it's important to me is to make the community stronger, which is like the YouTube community, Discord community. And the second one is to get more people to join our community. And the third one is to make it financially stable. And in order to accomplish this, the plan is to make YouTube videos, one to two YouTube videos per week, two sponsorships or campaigns per month, which is how I'm approaching making it financially stable. And to strengthen the community, I have one time a month to hold a community event. Next up is finance. The goal over here is to have financial freedom, which will lead to location freedom, time freedom, and ultimately intellectual freedom, which is how I define um, the ability of doing what is important and what is meaningful at any point. And that is like my ultimate goal in the end. So in order to do this, the plan is to do budgeting, which I very clearly say that it's going to be the 50, 30, 20 rule and the amount of money that I'm going to be sent spending per month on things that are not basics and the amount of money per day. Also my goal of 10% passive income. And the last big component is investing. So in precious metals, in crypto and real estate and in stocks and bonds. And then some of the non-tracking goals. So for romance here, the goal is to uh, not die alone because that would be sad. For career, it's to not get fired because I'm not financially stable if I did that right now. And for family, the goal is to keep and strengthen the relationships and the plan is to call my family one time a week. So yeah, this pack of cards, so far, um, I've been using it for a couple weeks now and I think it's been really helpful, especially looking at the cover for me. It just reminds me um, to flip through it and just keep remembering why I'm doing the things that I'm doing, which is a really good boost of motivation. So yeah, there you have it. I hope this video has been helpful to you and do leave a comment below if you have a system yourself or you think you might incorporate some aspects of my system as well. I'm really interested to know. So that's all I have for you today and I will see you guys in the next live stream or video. Boop, literally knocked over jar boop.